um, when you when you're looking at your assets, you know, a lot of times people say, "Well, I don't really have any." That's okay because you know you are able to get gift money. Like if a family member wants to give gifts, um, and put that towards your house and you can also get this grant and you can get in with as little as 3% down, conventional or FHA three and a half. So um, talk a little bit more about what qualifies as an asset, like what's an asset? So an asset would be something you have in the bank. You know, it's, it's important if you're thinking of buying in the next year and you don't have a bank account, open up a bank account and you want to open up the bank account with, you know, maybe having your your uh, pay stub directly deposited into that so we can source your salary. Um, another asset would be a 401k. You're able to use your 401k to purchase a house. You have to pay it back, um, but say you have $10,000 in a 401k, you can use about 7,000 of that towards closing costs without getting penalty. Is that a percentage of what's in there? Or yes, and there? every retirement is different, so you want to contact whomever holds your retirement account okay. and they'll let you know okay. how much you can borrow. But you can use that for closing costs. Another asset might be a stock. Do you have any stocks? Um, so they're all good sources that we can use for closing. Okay. Money in the bank, stocks, 401k. Yes. Excellent. Or gifts. Or gifts. Yeah, all those family members with yes. pockets. You just have to find a family member <laughs> yeah. that's willing to give it.